Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy. So, let's see what else we have in the bedroom to do. We still have plenty of planets to look at. But we've also got another planet or galaxy to do in the previous dome, since that unlocked when we got over here, so... Let's go back to the kitchen and see what the new galaxy is there. Since it should be a short one, we can probably do it straight away. Okay. Let's see what this is. Buoy Base Galaxy. Well, probably one of my favorites. The Floating Fortress. I just wanted to let the song play for a bit because it's such a great song, Bowie Based Galaxy. I love it. Anyway, here, this here is a floating fortress. We call it Bowie Base, but nobody's using it now, so we're just here for upkeep. Oh, the music. Guess what would happen if we blew up that underwater weight? Come on, guess. Give up. That tower in the middle of the water would float right up to the surface. Ba ba da ba. I'm going to probably shouldn't sing with it because it's just so good, but I don't want to ruin it. Anyway, these penguins are here to tell you how to swim if you don't know already. So let's go under the water. Have a look at what's down here. The control's a little bit wonky because of the gravity pulling towards the middle of the whole area. But anyway, let's try and get these missile bullet bills to do what I want them to. There's a pipe there, but we're gonna leave that for now. Oh, there's another thing. Oh dear. The controls down here are a little bit wonky. But if we can manage it, I want to try and get... Go down, please. I want to try and get this weight exploded by the bullet bill to thing. And there we go. That raises up that platform. So let's head up there now, and we can listen to the music in all of its glory without the underwater effect. Oh, it's so good. I was listening to it on YouTube this week because I was, I was getting ready for this game. Oh, there's also a sling star over there. I don't think I've ever seen that sling star. Probably because I haven't played this game much. I've only played it, like, twice. <laughs> and not even 100% the other time. It's been so many years since I did it my first time. Okay. Let's sling star and see what this does. Okay, that just slings us over here. Guess we're not supposed to use those sling stars, it's just there to make it easier to get over here. And the reason I was listening to this song earlier was also because I just started singing the whole thing because it's just so good and I want to know it all. I'm pretty sure I managed to sing the whole thing. And by sing I mean like, more like hum. But I don't know. Does the singing count if it doesn't have words? I'm not sure. 
Who left those water shooters on? Hey, would you give that valve there a twist and turn them off? Okay, if I can get over there without being shot off the platform. Okay, they're off now, and we can use this green little green guy over here as a little bouncer. I don't think you can do damage. But anyway, let's spin that. Now those platforms I think are moving faster or just moving at all. But anyway, we need to collect all of these pool star um, chips, I guess. I don't know. Oh, don't fall down all the way. Oh, please. Let me wall jump up there. Nope. Okay. Well, I can use this thwomp to get up nice and quick if I don't fall down. Oh, electric guy. Okay, what's in this box? Star bits? Oh, I remember listening to this song before I played the game. I didn't, I didn't even know that this game existed, but I heard this song and I just loved it instantly. Anyway, let's keep going up. We need two more pull star uh, fragments. So let's grab this. And I think the last one is up there, so we can just head up there now. Just need to be careful of this thing trying to attack us, which can't really do that well. Anyway, let's use it to get ourselves up here, though. And now, avoiding these lasers we can get over to the other side, where there are more lasers. If we get on top of this thing and spin, we can unbolt it. Or unscrew it. Kind of the same thing. And there's the star. So let's grab that. Goodbye, wonderful music. But even though it was a special level, it didn't say Galaxy Complete. Which means there's actually some more to do there. But I think I'm going to leave that for now, so let's head back to the bedroom. And see what we can do there. Oh, is this a platform I can view everything from? It is. Cool, I can actually view this part of the world. Also, there's a little planet over there that we can see, and also a planet up here we can see. But anyway. Actually, I might look at the map real quick. Okay, no comets. I don't know how many... how to... yeah, how many I need to keep an eye out for. But anyway, let's go to Freeze Flame Galaxy. The Frozen Peak of Baron Bart Burr. So as the name implies, of Freeze Flame Galaxy, this is a galaxy with ice and fire as its main theme, I guess. Hey old man, are you practicing how to skate too? Why, well, why don't we play a game? Can you catch me? And yes, we are actually skating on this ice by spinning while moving on it. it. means we can go a little bit faster on this ice, and if we spin we can do a little dash, I guess. But we need to catch this penguin now. Shouldn't be too difficult. There we go. Not bad, old man. With skating skills like that, you might have a chance. A small chance, maybe, but a chance. So, let's keep going. And we're going to be focused on the ice part of this world for now. In this particular star. But there'll definitely be 
a lot of lava as well soon. Okay, let me quickly read this. The water here is cold. Really, really cold. Seriously, if you fall in, it's going to hurt. So that's correct. If we go in the water, you can see it's making the screen all fuzzy. But if we stay in there too long, we will take damage. I also like the way that these platforms have... Um, they move in the water. If we grab this coin, though, we get a special flower to appear. We also spin those things, these things, and... Ow! Spin these things and then touch them to kill them. If they fall in the water, though, they get back up, so we need to be careful of that. Let's grab this ice flower. And we've transformed into Ice Mario. Spin to skate. You can water, walk on water, too. Okay. So we can create platforms underneath us while we have this power-up. So let's go over this way. And even these small sprinklers are usable. So there we go. It only lasts for a short amount of time, so as long as the music's going, we know we have it. The platforms don't disappear when you lose your power-up, though, so we can actually still use these platforms over here. Now, if I can use these things as platforms, I guess. Let me get up there here. We need to get up to the top of the level. Please spin, Mario. Why is it... Why is it having trouble spinning? I don't know. I keep pressing the button, but it doesn't seem to be always working. Okay. Oh, my goodness, gravity. I'm gonna grab some more star bits. I believe if we stand on these platforms too long, they sink, so... We need to be careful of that. But anyway, let's take this ice flower. And we need to go quick, so we don't lose it. Well, we will lose it, but we need to make sure we do what we can with it. While we have it, I don't think we can spin very well with it, unfortunately. So we can't really jump very high. But if we get up here, with this Link Star, we need to be able to get up here. So there we go. Okay. Now we need to get up to that boss thing with an ice flower. And let's go. Remember, you can also skate on your own ice, which makes you go faster. Now let's go up here. And let's take out this enemy if we can. Oh, which might be difficult if, it, if I do that. Oh, very difficult. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're so good. Okay, no, don't do that, please. Hang on. Let me dodge that. And spin. And now, spin into you again. It's angry now. Somewhat. Oh, pain, pain, we're still up here, good. Don't fall off, please. Okay, and... Spin you again. And now it spawns in some of its underlings. But that's fine. Taking out the big boss takes out the small ones as well. So there we go. Just gonna grab these coins, just because they're there. I have to. There's no... I don't have a choice. I have to collect every coin I see. Let's grab the star. I'm not allowed to let coins disappear from existence. Another new galaxy. In the bedroom. I think that's actually the next thing. Yeah, enemy base spotted. We're detecting massive energy spikes. What are they doing there? I don't know. What are they doing there? You tell me. You're the one telling the story. Well, anyway, let's go back into Freeze Foam Galaxy and see what the next star holds. Free Flames Blistering Core. I actually really like this from a design, a game design standpoint, because it's not just a fire world, it's not just an ice world. 
it's it's both, which means even though it's technically different sections for some of this, they still kind of feel connected, I guess. Because if it's just a fire world, you kind of feel like, oh, okay, we have to just dodge the lava and all that. But then there's also the ice, and there's ah, oh, it's a good good combination, I guess. Anyway, let's grab all of these launch star fragments, and for some reason <laughs> get pool stars as well. That wasn't in the, the... that's not how that works. Anyway, we got an actual launch star in the middle, so that kind of makes up for it. And let's launch over to here. Okay, so, if we fall in the lava, we take damage and fly upwards with a little bit less control. Um, oh, careful of the spike enemies. Can't, we can't kill those. And now, we need to actually get around. This is the way we need to go, but we can't do anything there at the moment. Oh, spiky enemies. Okay. So, I'm just gonna go over this way. And these platforms sink in the lava as well. And if we can get to this coin, we get a fire flower to appear. You transformed into Fire Mario. Spin to shoot fireballs. So now we can take out these spiky enemies, which makes them give us um, star bits. We can also break these boxes with the fire. And if we light this up with the fire, it opens up a shortcut for us. Also, the fireballs can go through multiple boxes before disappearing. But anyway... Let's go back up for another five hours since, again, it has a time limit. And let's go to where we need to go. Sounds very Donkey Kong 64 with these sound effects. But anyway, if we light up these two torches, we can go up these stairs. Unfortunately, we're going to lose the power though. And while we have a fire flower, it's not easy to spin. You can't... Spinning just doesn't work the same way. Since you're also throwing fireballs. It does hold you in the air for a little bit, but it doesn't increase your height, I guess. But anyway, let me grab these star bits. And this slope is making it hard for those spiky enemies to get to me. But also, now we have a fire flower, so we can take them out fairly well. And they keep respawning as well, I'm pretty sure. So we might be able to get infinite star bits here, but I doubt it. Also, our fireball balls also have trouble on the slope because they go a bit more down, so they can't just go straight up, unfortunately. Anyway, let's grab another fire flower because we need to light up some more torches instead of getting star bits. So if we go over here and throw, or just throw... Oh, come on. Go the way I'm trying to tell you to go. Jump and throw. There we go, it bounces into that. And then over here we can just throw into that one. And there we go. Let's go up, I guess. Oh my goodness, what is happening? Gravity switching around again. I, li I like how this planet is like two sides of the same area because it's got the upper area up there which we stand on but then we can jump down onto this section as well. I, I like the way it does that. Anyway, need to be careful of this platform since it spins. Oh, spin. Spin. Oh, don't get stuck on that please. I need to go down so I can actually get across that. Anyway, we're getting close to the star now since we can see it. And these fireball enemies work the same way as the ice ones on the opposite planet. Just have to spin into them and then kick them to break them. Uh, but if they go in the lava, they do reignite. So they all try to jump into the lava to reignite themselves. Okay. Let's take this fire flower. 
and go over this way. Because if we can get onto this platform. Also, you can reignite. Oh! You can reignite the enemies yourself. Oh, please, hit that. Nope. Okay. Well, I think I'm just going to get a new Fire Flower. So, we need to jump on this platform, and we need to try and angle our shots just right. Which is a little bit difficult, because we also have to jump and spin to actually throw it the correct way. Oh my goodness, I don't want to die. Hang on, let me grab this coin. If I can take out this fire enemy so it's not in my way anymore, that would also be good. I'm gonna take this over to the fire flower, I guess. I don't know if there's an easy way to trick the game into just giving you... Oh, maybe there is. Maybe I do know what I'm doing. You can just get that one from there. So there we go, we just need to get across to that platform now and grab the star. Oh my goodness. Okay then. Okay. And that's two stars in Freeze Flame Galaxy. Oh, but there's a Cosmic Comet there now. So, we might have a look at doing that before we move on to the next galaxy. Cosmic Comet in orbit! Frosty Cosmic Mario raced. Race. We haven't even done this section of the level yet, but it's available to us now. So let's see how this goes. And I don't think this is going to be too hard. Because we just need to get the star before um, Cosmic Mario gets there. We can also get star bits from Cosmic Mario. Anyway, we just need to skate along these placed platforms. And also jumping seems to make you go by faster than spinning, which is interesting. Just to be careful where you do it. And now every time you switch... Um, switch gravity, you also need to, uh, what's it called? S start skating again. And also spinning in midair stops you from skating. But anyway, there we go. Let me quickly look at the map. I wish it was fast to look at the map. It is fairly fast, but it's not as fast as I'd like it to be. But anyway, let's go to Dusty Dune Galaxy. Soaring on the Desert Winds. Desert levels can be kind of bland in some video games, but I feel like this one is actually pretty good. Like, the whole galaxy part of it makes it instantly better. And I, lo I love the cactuses floating up in space. Giant cactuses at that. Anyway, we have some dry bones here, which we can take out by spinning or jumping on them, but they will... They will recollect themselves. And then... To try to get us again. If we get into these uh, tornadoes and spin, we can actually make ourselves have a thousand arms. Oh dear, this is bad, this is bad. And if we go in the sand, we die. But when we spin in a tornado, we can actually float ourselves around a lot better. Which will be useful. So don't fall in the sand. Let me see if I can actually do that. 
properly. Just gonna hang out here for a little bit and spin. Oh dear, no platforms ahead of us, so I'm gonna have to be very careful. Oh, I'm and I'm immediately go over this way. Please pick me up. Thank you. We need to go over to this pipe, I think. Hopefully, because I'm heading over this way. Let's go down. And now for another 2D section. So let's ground pound to start off, just because that's a lot faster than waiting around. And let's just go through here, I guess. Looks like there's an area up there. I'm gonna actually check what's up there, because I don't think I've done that before, and I'm interested. Oh, wow. Hello. Good to see you. I think if we get on top of these swamps, we'll get crushed by the ceiling, except for that one bit in the middle, which might actually be something important, maybe. Hang on. Oh, that's a one-up. Okay, never mind. Not important. Anyway, back down here, I guess. This is where we would have ended up if we followed along those platforms over that way. And if we go in this sand, it pushes us around. But there's also these flip switches here. And if we activate them, we get some star bits to appear. So let's try to collect all of those. Which we can do by running around. And I think if we get them all... Okay, nothing happened. Cool. I thought something would happen if we collected them all, but nope. Anyway, let's just jump over this way then. And let's grab that. Which gives us... Oh, gives us... A fire flower, so let's go down this way. Okay. Just keep going. Keep jumping to go faster. And we need to get away from this gigantic block heading our way. But it's fine. Okay, so that's the end of the 2D section. Let's blast ourselves over to the next section. Oh my goodness, Cactus, please don't die, Mario. It looks like you would get into trouble with that Cactus. Also these... I don't know what these are, but these enemies... They drop bombs, and I don't know how to uh, like actually hit them. I think if you get up there, you can probably... Ow! You can probably attack them by spinning, but you probably just want to dodge them most of the time. So let's just go up this way. Using these platforms here... Okay, we need to go against the flow of the sand. Ow! 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 How dare you! Jumping and spinning is useful for going forward. Okay. Now, can I get up here, please? Thank you. Okay. Okay, let's grab this coin, which should give us a way up. And then go up here. Okay, and that made some star bits appear. We just need a wall jump our way up. And there's glass most of this place, so you don't fall out accidentally. Most. Just remember that. Gonna grab that. And I, you can actually just hold onto a wall for a long time without actually having to wall jump as well. Which does make it a little bit easier to get around. Okay. Oh, and this bit is a little bit more complicated, but that's okay. Ah, come on. Don't. Oh my goodness. You just sent me all the way back down. After just time out our jumps just right. Also, these platforms here go into the wall when you stand on them. But they come out again. And that's pretty much it for the star, so let's go ahead and grab it. So there we go. A hunger loom has appeared next to the bedroom. But that is it for now, so thank you all for watching. 
and I'll see you all next time.